Ooh, oh. Hello friends. It's a stunning day. Vans parked outside. This is Kvammur. This is our it's my home for the summer. Yeah, I'm I'm still staying in the van because we have six people living in the house. Uh, it's all the guides from Borea. We're staying in this house. And uh it's an old house and we're repairing it and stuff and let me just start off once again by saying sorry this video is super late things got really hectic as soon as I came to Isa Um I was the only guide here first so there was a lot of stuff to do to set up um, this season so I've been super busy didn't really have time to film I was filming quite a lot I had some issues with the camera and I lost a bunch of videos which sucks all of like my intro videos to the trips that I was doing uh, but I am in Isafjordur now, season's on its way, it's beautiful weather. This video, I've just thrown together the stuff that I had from kind of before I came to Isafjordur. So I'll put them on now. And uh, there's also some clips of my first few trips of the season into the nature reserve, which I think you'll like. There's some, there's some foxes, there's some whales, there's some cool hiking, some snow. So I hope you guys do like this video. Um, enjoy! I'll try and post a bit more frequently once again so I get back into the mode. Uh, kind of, I've parked my stuff here now, everything's set, season started, so maybe the filming will become a bit more frequent and I can show you guys what's going on here. But yeah, look at this, this is, is insane. We've had the weather the past month, the past three weeks, it's been stunning. Except June 1st and June 2nd when it was snowing sideways. But other than that, it's been the best summer that I've had in Iceland so far. There's the neighbor's dog. Smelling out. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's get right into it. Another day, another off the map hot pot and awesome camping spot. Gotta take the beer this time. It's pretty cold. Let's take a hat too. <gasps> Woo! Ah, this is so cool, man. Seriously, how cool is this spot? I'm the only person here. It's one of it's another one of these um, places, hot pots that's not marked on the map anywhere. You won't find this in a guidebook. My good friend, uh, oh, my good friend Mike, told me about this place, and I came here four years ago with my classmates, and now I'm back. Oh boy. Oh. I don't need this hat. Oh, that's warm. Check it out, it's like, it's man-made. So there's this containing wall here, and that's the ocean. So there's cold, but here is warm. Okay, let's, let's go take a dip in the ocean. <laughs> oh. 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 <sighs> That's cold. Oh, brain freeze. Oh. yesterday 
yesterday. That's where I filmed the previous stuff. And uh, now I'm on the kind of last stretch to get to Isafjordur. The problem is that I have to go in and out of these fjords, as you can see in this map. And that makes this, this much longer than it looks. It looks like a short distance on a map, but then you have to go in and out of all these fjords. That's gonna take some time, but I am gonna, because I love it so much, I am gonna go to one more hotspot on the way. This is a public one, it's on the side of the road. I wouldn't be surprised to find other people there, it's Saturday, it's a beautiful day here. Uh, yeah, one more hotspot, let's go. Okay, we're here. Despite my thoughts, there's no one here. So, solo hot pot it is again. Whoa, damn, that's hot. Oh. 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 That's like way hot. Damn. Is it too hot? Oh, not sure. It's pretty warm. Oh my goodness. Ass is on fire. Let's do something about this. Pretty warm. Got the van, I'm in Isafjordur, there's ice hockey on uh, YouTube, making food, gotta love the life man, check these views out. Woo, Isafjordur, down there, you beauty. So I lost the intro for this clip, um, but basically this is one of my first trips of the season to the nature reserve. I took two people out hiking and we get dropped off with a boat on the other side of um, a fjord and then we have to hike over the mountain to the other side when we reach the house and then we have dinner and then we came back to town. 
So this is that hike. Let's see what the scenery looks like in the nature reserve. Okay, bye. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here in Kviar. There's a lot of birds, it's super calm. I've got two clients and we're gonna go kayaking. And uh, we've seen some whales here in the morning, <clears throat> at least two. That's pretty exciting and not too far off. So hopefully we might catch them or see them from the kayaks. Who knows? Let's go find out. Woo! That's so cool! Oh my god. There's a whale literally right there. Big minkies. Wow. Not a bad start for the day. This is pretty cool. So there's at least three or four minky whales around us. 
surfacing and it's super calm. It's stunning. It's so amazing. Now there's, we know there's one more at least around here. So we're just gonna, there, it's there. Okay, let's try and get a bit closer. And then we're gonna go into Lona Fjord and kayak because it's also a very pretty fjord. But um, this might be the best job in the world. Hmm. Uh, I do believe so. Whales, man, whales on a kayak. Took me four years to experience it, but it's worth the wait. <laughs> it's crazy the reflection. Hey guys, I'm now in another part of the nature reserve. I'm in Hornvik, this is on the northern coast. Well, this area has the highest density of arctic foxes anywhere in the world. And I can currently actually see one. It's a bit far away. Uh, let's see if it gets any closer. It's just along the path here. Okay, so the fox is coming this way. Let's see if it runs past me. Okay, it's right there. Moi! How exciting is that? It's right there. So these foxes here in the nature reserve, they have a really cool cry. You know that song, what does the fox say? That doesn't sound anything like you think. This is what it sounds like. So these foxes here in the nature reserve, they've been under protection since 1994 when this was designated a nature reserve. So they don't have any predators here and humans aren't allowed to kill them, which has made them very tame as you can see. We're just at the house here, this guy's around, he doesn't really mind us. And uh, it's made a, this place a very good place for filming Arctic foxes. The BBC was here last year and they're coming up with a show pretty soon. I am here, I'm a professional video maker as you can see. And they're just so cute. I hope you guys liked this episode. I know it uh, was just a lot of clips thrown together and didn't really have a, a story, but that's what I could put together for this episode because I really wanted to get one out because it's been so so long. Uh, like I said, it's been pretty hectic at work, 
maybe I can get a routine to filming uh, kind of as I go on with the season. The next episode hopefully will have more of a storyline because I'm taking this little cutie, Yara. I'm taking her out on a little road trip today. And uh, we'll see on the next one what, what we get up to. This cutie is living with us for... She's going to be living with us for a month at least. So I'm pretty excited. Please like and subscribe. Please.